Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome back to another video in the ongoing saga which is my EV conversion. And this time I'm going to try and answer a question which lots of people have asked. And that is how heavy is it going to be after the conversion? And the honest answer to that is I don't know. I know I have removed an engine which is in that corner under a pile of rubbish which weighs two three hundred kilos not sure the exact weight but pretty heavy and i have replaced it with a motor which is in there somewhere which is not very heavy maybe 50 kilos something like that an inverter which is not that heavy maybe 15 20 kilos a charger another 10 or 15 kilos and i'm hoping to get 10 battery modules under the bonnet which would add another 110 kilos something like that so that's going to put in it might be a similar sort of amount of weight to what was in the car previously i'm not entirely sure but obviously because i'm having to put a load of batteries in the back it's going to be heavier at the back but at this point in time i don't know exactly how much by so with that in mind i'm going to try and weigh the car using these bathroom scales and more precisely bathroom scales what I bought off Amazon for the princely sum of £10 each and as you can see I bought four of them my theory is the car should be weighing under two tonnes but for the sake of argument, let's just say it weighs two tons. That means each corner, each wheel, should have approximately 500 kilograms, right? And these can go up to 180 kilos. These, these four have a theoretical maximum that they can handle of 720 kilos. To weigh them, I plan to Set four scales down in a row. Take this large piece of timber, which as you can see is pretty thick. Set it on top. Set it down on the, the scales. I'll just read out what the numbers are. Now to do this properly, I will have to ensure that the car is level. So all four wheels will have to be sitting on blocks of some sort to keep them at the same height and then when I go to do this I plan to jack it up in the middle of the car jack it up in the air set, set it down on the scales weigh it jack it up swap the scales around set it down and weigh it again and like I say each time the car will need to be dead level or as level as I can get it right guys before I start this test I want to ensure that all the scales are reading more or less the same they're obviously not precision instruments at, at uh, 10 pound each delivered but so long as they're reasonably close that's all I'm concerned about so let's just see what it says 84.4 84 84.1 84 83.9 and 83.9 so like I say not precision 84.4 was the highest 83.9 so half a kilo out and there's other things to bear in mind also like fuel at the moment the fuel tank in the car outside is empty so I've actually left about 55 kilos worth of batteries on the back seat which will replicate a full tank but it also has a, a, a tow bar which I have no idea what the tow bar weighs but I'll, I'll try and find that out later so this isn't going to be perfect science, but it'll be close enough for the purposes of, uh, of YouTube videos. And this is the four of the scales with the plank on them. So if I put my lardy big butt on it, you can see each of them is reading a percentage of my body weight, which if we add that to the the plank should be a correct amount. That's the other thing we'll need to remove from the, the weights that we work out is the weight of the plank as well. 
I'm going to weigh the car outside first because it's a reasonably nice day, it's not raining. It is a standard car, it hasn't been touched. That'll give me a benchmark and then we can weigh this. Guys, it's Ollie Bro from the future here and I need to put into the video at this stage because I messed up. I know you'll be shocked, but I did. It looks like all of the footage that I shot of the weighing of the original car was done using a bottle jack at the back of the car which would, be, would have been fine if I had been pulling the bottle jack out each time I was weighing it but I didn't therefore the bottle jack was taking a fairly large amount of weight even though I had released the valve so uh, I'm having to re-weigh the original car again to try and get proper weights so as you can see guys this time I put the, the four batteries into the boot of the car. Each of these is 11.2 or 3 kilograms so it's approximately 45 kilograms in the back of the car. Pretty much directly above where the fuel tank would be so this is a representation of three quarters of a tank of fuel. Um, as far as I know it's a 60 litre tank or 55 litre tank or something like that. If that was full it would be around the 50-60 kilogram mark. This is back right. And we have... I can't see those. Hopefully you can. Front right. This is the front left. Back left. Hi guys, welcome back. And this time we're going to try and weigh the electric car, or the car with the electric conversion, using the same method we did before. And we'll see if we can't figure out the weight of this car now we have the conversion. I wouldn't say complete, but complete enough that all pretty much all of the stuff is going to be in is in it. If you're wondering what that is, it's uh, the high voltage heater. Um, it's a four kilowatt heater that came out of the Nissan Leaf, and hopefully in a future video that will be featured. So here goes front left. Front right. So back right. Back left. Okay. Guys, as you can see, time has moved on. The standard Freelander is now minus an engine. I've got the gearbox and everything out as well. And that's all lying over here in a heap. So trying to get this car ready to transfer all the electrical bits from the test mule into this car and I'm sorting out brakes and so on at the same time. Brake hoses and pipes and yeah there's quite a bit of work to be done to this car to get it ready for MOT. The numbers are all in now and we've counted them up and a couple of big headlines as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the biggest one is the weight of the front of the cars. Now this is the weight for the standard Freelander and this is the weight for the EV Freelander. And the standard Freelander, the weight of the front total was 887 kilos. The EV Freelander uh, weight at the front 886 kilograms, so one kilogram difference. Uh, I have to admit I'm quite surprised by that. I, th I thought it would have been, the difference would have been a lot bigger uh, or I thought the front of this would have been a lot heavier with the... I, was, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I certainly didn't expect it to be one kilogram difference. So that, that was a big surprise. The other surprise was the weight of the back of the car is only 90 kilograms difference. So the total weight of this car uh, with the EV conversion is 90 kilograms heavier than it was as a standard car. And that's a standard car with a three quarters of a tank of fuel. So that is a big surprise. I th I, yeah, I would say that's a big surprise because I was expecting maybe two or three hundred kilos more. Now I would say take those numbers with a pinch of salt 
because the numbers don't really look right here. This was 338 and 363. So there's a 30 kilo difference between the two sides. And as far as I can tell, the two sides of the car should have been pretty much the same. And over here, there was a 30 odd kilogram difference as well. And they really should have been fairly similar. So uh, I would say take those numbers with a pinch of salt. They're not exact. But they're not a million miles away either. Um, this weight, 1588 for the standard, for the total of the standard kil uh, Freelander, that's approximately what it should be, according to the internet anyway. 1679 for the Freelander EV, it's really only 90 kilos difference. So, very, very pleased to see the difference is so small. Like I say, although the numbers may not be exact, all the numbers were obtained using the same method, so they're going to be fairly close to within 50 kilos for the sake of argument it'll be I would say well within that maybe even within about 20 kilos anyway thought it would be good to finish off showing you what the action numbers were what they came out as and yeah thanks for watching bye for now